Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Welcome back to a new tutorial. So previously we have developed a layout for a bottom navigations and here we have connected our icons into a bottom and this bottom navigation has been uh, you know uh, embedded into a coordinator layout and as you can see here it's a tinting color is following a primary color however you can change this uh, tinting color by using uh, you know uh, external theme and as you see here in my uh, sample application so finally I'll be developing a final version of this bottom navigation with something like this one okay so let's move forward and I'm gonna close activity main XMLs and uh, navigation menu is also complete now let's move to the uh, values folder color.xml and the style.xml so first of all that I'm gonna change uh, uh, I'm gonna change uh, the theme and for that theme so let me uh, open a, a style uh, let me create a custom style here so let's uh, give this name as a bottom navigation theme okay so bottom navigation theme and the parent of this bottom navigation theme would be bottom navigation weave right so I can write here bottom navigation weave okay bottom navigation weave this one right and let's close this one and then here we want a color primary so for that I have to create here a different color and let's create that color and give a name as a color bottom navigation right color bottom navigation right and let's close this and now we need to create this color here into our hex file and let me show you let's say a blue color a light blue color and I can select this color and then paste it right and then inside the style here I want a item one item with a color primary with a color accent I think it's a color primary right with a color color primary right so let's remove this android and then we want here color bottom navigation right and now we want to embed that theme into our uh, activity xml right so it's a very simple actually i need to just write here android theme and then at the rate a style and then forward slash and then i can write here the theme which is I have created that's the bottom oops it's a bottom hmm, navigation right it's a bottom navigation theme um, make sure that this is spelling matches so I'm just copying it and uh, then pasting it here right it's a bottom navigation theme now I would like to run this application but before that see here what we have developed this one okay right now let's run this application and see what will happen there then you will understand what I was trying to tell you see here so this is following you know I have created just a custom color great so now let it uh, be a custom now I want to change this uh, background color okay that that is very simple to change that background color and um, you can change it by using item background right so what I can do here you can write here F and then item background and then you can write here a color primary okay so now this is color primary it will follow this color and let's change the color primary to let's say I would like to change it into the teal color okay and uh, let's take this for with a 500 intensity color primary okay color primary with the 500 intensity and color dark with 800 intensity with the 700 intensity would work also 
okay and let's run this application then you will see a very beautiful design for a testing purpose i would like to show you few more things as you see here this color and this color is matches and uh, if you see into the emulator then definitely you can see the background of this navigation bottom navigations and this main navigation uh, this toolbar is matching together okay and uh, we can also change this color so let's make this color into white that would definitely look a beautiful and uh, that can be done with this color with the bottom navigation with double f double f and double f right and if i run this application then you will see there you know now that color would be on white <laughs> now it is installing and let's see see here white and white this is really very beautiful okay so nothing is happening here and for that we need to uh, do a java coding okay and before that i would like to show you few more things i mean the controlling uh, you can control item text color also so suppose that you need to write here the item text color and uh, let's say if you want item text color uh, let's say the white though that is the bottom uh, color bottom navigation okay see here the color text has been changed into the white color and uh, you can also change the item icon tint color suppose that if i write here item icon tint so that is white okay and then you can change this item white color and uh, suppose that uh, if i want to change this background to color primary this one okay and uh, suppose that uh, if you want to uh, change uh, you know these colors suppose that uh, here i think i had made white okay that's fine i think now let's see the icon tint color has changed it into the white great see here how beautiful is this one okay great now apart from that uh, i'm gonna add here uh, one text view so that i can show you uh, when i press recent favorite or nearby that text view will change its text okay with the current selection and it's a really very simple okay you don't need to do much much here you need to just uh, add here text view okay just we need to add here text view width with the wrap content and height also wrap content and then you need to give a id and that id would be a text underscore id and uh, then i would like to give here layout center horizontal to the true and also i would like to give here layout uh, you know the vertical okay so vertical center vertical to the true and then i would like to give here some text with the current uh, uh, with the with the recent okay so that's that's the recent default selection recents okay press option and return it's recent and option and enter extract the string resource and click on okay right and apart from that i would like to give a text size to 28 dp so you can write there the text size to the 28 dp and then i would like to set also the style text style to the bold okay great now i think everything is fine here into our uh, activity main.xml file let's move to the activity main activity.java okay so in main activity.java we need to implement here first we need to create a object for bottom navigation weave and then text weave okay so bottom navigation weave to a bottom navigation and then we want to create for our text weave okay so the text weave is equal to the text weave right now we need to get the reference for each of these two 
objects so let's first get a reference for the bottom navigation weave is equal to of course it's a bottom navigation weave and then find weave by id r dot id dot bottom navigation and the similarly we need to get a for a text weave so it's a text weave is equal to the text weave type casted okay and then find weave by id and then it's r dot id dot uh, you know the text id right now uh, we need to create here uh, on click listener for bottom navigation weave so the bottom navigation weave dot set on navigation item selected listener for this activity and uh, before we do this one we need to implement here on click bottom navigation uh, item selected listener so we need to write here implements and then on navigation item selected okay on navigation item selected okay so here you can see here bottom navigation weave dot on navigation item selected now it's uh, angry you need to come here into this pop of implement this method and on navigation item selected right great so here this must be selected not it's reselected okay so here we are implementing on on navigation item selected right and uh, it's reselected somehow we have chosen here reselected we need to select here selected right perfect and this must be a boolean and this must return a true value okay great so what will happen when you are uh, user press any of these uh, button uh, any of these items it will call this function this method so inside this method it will pass a item id so what we can do here we can create int id is equal to item dot get id get item id and then i can create here a switch statement for id and then i can put here a case and that case r dot id and then dot recent id okay and then i can uh, you know the reference that the text weave dot set text and then for that one item dot get title okay and then i need to press here break so this is for first uh, item selection and then similarly we can go for case 2 and then for case 3 so the another one is nearby okay and the third one is a favorite okay that's the fav id and you can see here it will automatically show the selected you know selected text there so let's run this application and you will understand what i am trying to tell you here see here into the emulator it is almost the same as i have developed earlier so if i press on the recent it is of course the recents and then favorite and then here nearby right so here i have successfully implemented a bottom navigation and you can connect any of activity with these uh, bottom navigation you can call here map and then you can uh, call here a favorite activity or favorite fragment and then you can call here a recent uh, activities recent uh, i mean fragments whatever you want to call okay it's depend on you you need to just call those methods or uh, activity or a fragment from each case okay switch cases so this is all about the bottom navigation so we i'm completing this bottom navigation here thank you so much for watching this video tutorial stay tuned for the next one in next one i'll be covering more videos on android and material design bye bye have a nice day